channel so today I'm doing a mermaid even though I said I wasn't gonna do anything not scary this year here we are we're doing this let's go so I've already applied a primer foundations concealer and primed my eyelids and now I'm taking this fishnet stocking and just placing this over my face and head and just adjusting everything to make the scales the size that I want them to be for the scales I'm starting by mixing in these two teal shades and just tapping this along the hairline and also in my normal contour areas of the face and for the contour I'm using darker shades that are matte and once I get closer to the center of the face I'll use lighter shades that are shimmery and here I'm just going to tap in a lighter blue matte shade just to give more dimension and now I'm taking this lighter blue shade and again just tapping this a little bit closer towards the center of the face and you always want to do tapping with this no swiping, swiper no swiping, um, because if you do swiping, then it's going to disturb the pattern of the fishnet. And now I'm taking this lighter blue shade and again tapping closer and closer to the center of the face. And now I'm taking this light blue, I'm sorry, green shade and tapping this closer and closer to the center of the face. This is actually super easy guys. And now I wanted to add a pop of purple. So I'm just tapping this in in certain spots that I just thought it would look good. For more of a glow, I added MAC Soft and Gentle on top of those shimmery shades and then to intensify that, I took a pure white shimmery shade and added that to the areas closest to the center of the face. Now carefully pull off the fishnet and you are instantly a mermaid goddess. I wanted to keep this look really simple and easy so I ended up using for the body these colored hairsprays that I got from Michaels and just spray this over lightly don't go too overboard just kind of make sure that you're kind of far away and I just started um, with the blue color faded it into a purple and then did a white and the white was so perfect for a highlight just gave a nice iridescence all over there wasn't a teal or a green hairspray so I ended up just using some of that teal eyeshadow that we used earlier and just tap that over some of the blue just so that the body matched the face. For my brows, I'm starting with a white eyeliner as a base for the colors that we'll be putting in the brows. And in between each step, I will be using a spoolie, and this will make sure all the product is dispersed and each individual hair is coated. And now I'm setting that with a white eyeshadow before I add on any color. Now I'm taking this turquoise shade and filling in the entire brow. And now I'm feathering in this lavender eyeliner into the very front of the brow and then taking a teal eyeliner and filling in the tail of the brow. Now I'm using a white cream base just to clean up underneath the brows and I ended up dragging that down over the whole eyelid as a base. I thought I was going to do some eyeshadow, but I thought it was just going to take over the entire look because of all the color on the face. So I ended up just doing a winged eyeliner with that lavender um, eyeliner that we used earlier in the brows. Then I lined my waterline with a white eyeliner. 
And then I used that teal eyeliner under the lash line and just blended that out and highlighted the inner corner with that shimmery white shade we used earlier on the face. Here I'm just adding some shading to my nose with that teal eyeshadow and then I'm going to heavily highlight my face using MAC Soft and Gentle. I wanted super long dramatic lashes and I believe I used the Coco Lashes in the style Soho and then I extended my inner corner with that lavender eyeliner. Again, we're keeping this look super simple, so I'm just lining my lips using that same lavender eyeliner and then just filled in the center of the lips with this pastel lavender liquid lipstick from ColourPop. To add the glitter, I'm just dotting on some eyelash glue, mostly on the high points of my face, and then taking this glitter that I got from Michaels, it's like a teal color with a lot of iridescence, and I'm just putting this in little clusters. Um, if you cluster it, it will look like little scales. I'm just putting this in little spots that I thought would look good. And I did the same thing with my body. To look even more like a majestic creature, I just sprayed my whole decollete and arms with that white hairspray and then just continued to add detail to my body. To set everything and intensify all these pigments, I am spraying my face and body with Max Fix Plus. And then to add these little starfish, I just again put on some lash glue and stuck it on. And then I didn't know what I was going to do with my hair and I just looked behind me and I found this little net. Didn't know whether I was going to put it on my body, but I ended up just putting it in my hair and put this little starfish on top. I really wish I would have used that other um, little starfish, the white one, but hey, whatever. You know, I couldn't pick which one I liked. So it just takes some selfies and then you know you're done thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next video bye if you want to keep watching and see how i got this mermaid look then keep watching what just happened <laughs>